Okay, so in this part of the course, I'm going to cover some of issues with multiple linear regression analysis that I could not cover somewhere else. And in this chapter, I'm going to talk about four issues in particular. The first issue I'm going to talk about is about data scaling. That is what happens to our coefficient values, their standard error, t-test and f-test when we change the measurement of our variable x or variable y. So we'll talk about data scaling first. In this part of the course, my emphasis will be more on giving you examples of each of these issues so that you will have a first-hand experience of what happens with these coefficient values, their statistical significance, and the goodness of fit are squared when either of these variables are rescaled or measured in a different unit. So that will be my first topic. And after that, I'm going to talk about different functional forms the relationship of x and y can take. We talked about log form previously. I'm going to extend the concept and we're going to talk about what happens with the estimated values of these coefficients when uh, we use a logarithmic form. And I'm going to extend the model like this model to include quadratic terms. That is, we're going to include another variable x1 here which will be the square of uh, this x1 variable. So we'll see what happens with this model when we include a quadratic function in this model. And then we're going to introduce interaction terms between two variables and see that the relationship between two variables can be represented using these interaction terms. And in the third part of this section, I'm going to talk about R squared. We're going to revisit R squared and we're going to use R squared or adjusted R squared to choose different control variables in the model. We're going to base our control variables that is like how many variables should we include in the model based on adjusted R squared. And finally, I'm going to talk about an issue with a dependent variable which is represented in a logarithmic form. So we can easily estimate the equation but sometimes we may not be interested in log of y rather we want to get y hat from this equation right for example our house prices could be represented in the log form but we may not be interested in the log form rather we want to get house prices in dollars from this model okay so i will see you in the next video to talk about data scaling